This is a celebration of life for Tony B and Buddy Davis. I'm glad Buddy Davis would just like, hey, Buddy, hey, Buddy, come here for a second. Come here, Bud. Facebook is me and Buddy and Tony getting down having a great time. But I want Buddy to say something about Tony Black and what Tony meant to him. Wow. Boy, that is a surprise right there. I just remember going, I think what comes to mind with Tony is going down to Beale Street with the Memphis Blood down there, Jack Holder, uh, Bill Marshall, uh, all kind of drummers, Pete Mandillo stuff, and uh, players, and Tony, here's this guy in there playing his butt out with Dave Smith and all the Memphis musicians, and the next thing I know, I come to the next, you know, they asked me to come back and sub for Jack, and I did, and it was just me and him and a drummer, and it was just the whole orchestra made it so easy to play, and then getting to know him just, uh, I don't, I don't believe I've heard him cuss. I didn't know cussing for both of us. And I went around him, but I don't believe I've just heard him cuss or do anything. He was just light and easy. And, uh, next thing you know, he just kind of got to make sure he wanted to help him pack up his equipment because he's so darn good. He puts out so much energy playing and everything. And uh, it was just really a you know, blessing. And, uh, and it's just uh, really strange, you know, how all that went down. And I was in Florida on vacation, and the Grizzlies beat the Spurs last year. And, and the phone rang right at midnight, and, I, and, I, and it was Bill Marshall letting me know about Tony, and it worked about the Grizzlies, and, and it just kind of blew my mind. And just couldn't, couldn't wait to get home. It was just such a, it was such a blessing, though. The funeral home, and the next day the funeral, just everything. I mean, me and Jack had the casket, and the other people were not Roy Howard and slacking, and other few people were slacking a little bit. Yeah, Roy, you know, you did good. We all did, we did the best we could, but he, that thing was heavy. Yeah, that thing was, it was, it was something else, you know, but uh, me and Jack were able to make make some kind of joke about, you know, to make donuts, he liked his donuts and stuff, and this thing is heavy as heck, but, but uh, we knew, his, we knew his, uh, what was heavy is, we lost a giant, we lost a giant on April 29th, lost a giant, but uh, he's, he left behind all this that we left behind, now we're trying to carry on without him, and I think we're doing a darn good job and everything, but it's because his spirit does with us, and I can't say that quick, can I, but I love you, thank you for letting me say something, but, uh, I just came from the heart, cause, and I love him, and, there's, and I don't have no reason to cry, because I know his spirit loves here and now, I mean, if Tony ain't heaven, I know I ain't got no chance, right. I ain't got no chance, if Tony's not heaven, if he ain't there, we ain't no a, a very uh, special picture of you, buddy, that we want to give you in honor of your birthday because we love you too and you're extremely special to all of us. So we've all signed your picture and so it's a very special picture and there it is. <laughs> Special thanks to Diane Bruner for that's Photoshop. I mean, that's that stuff you can make. You know, David Raper, his wife, they know how to do this stuff, and then you know, Bill Gerard, they can do this stuff. Right? Girl, Photoshop. Yeah. Hey, this is Bill. You better tell Pat or Patty that when you get home. The jackal and Teal backed me up on this. I got out of the car and Felicia was such a good sport about it. And I got out my britches down around my ankle like, you know, we just went out. The, he opened the door and Tony's packing up. We got so I'll see you later, Felicia. My pants just went down and everything. We were just 
tried to get a laugh and she was being supportive. Well, he said his knees were scratching, itching, so he had to scratch.